Hi Capricorn, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I'm going to be doing your weekly love reading for September 25th through October 1st. I apologize for the delay. I had a weekend vacation. This may or may not uh, resonate with you. If it does, great. If it doesn't, you can check your moon sign or your rising sign. Let's see what comes up. This is intended to be a love reading. I have pre-shuffled these four decks you saw at the beginning for you before I turned on the camera. And there we go. I will zoom this in after. And I apologize for the fan. It's uh, <laughs> 90 degrees outside. And uh, there ain't no way I'm turning it off. I am a Capricorn moon sign. Virgo rising and Taurus sun. I am all earth. So, the center of your reading is the Eight of Cups. Okay, so that's some, leaving something behind. Now, this is intended to be a love reading. It could come up to be anything. Um, so, we have the Eight of Cups right in the middle. That's the basis of your reading. That is leaving something behind. Something, you know, some kind of disappointment that causes you to leave something behind. Down below it, we probably have you. This is a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Um, and this is an unexpected relationship or unexpected uh, love, okay, with a lover's card connected right to that. So, you know, it could be anything you're leaving behind. It could be um, grudges that you're leaving behind. It could be a fear because we have a fear right here. This is the moon card. That's a fear. So it looks like, you know, fear of the unknown. Maybe you're leaving that thought behind and you're going to move forward toward or towards an attraction. I do see that you're letting go of some burdens or something, some heaviness that you've been carrying around. Congratulations. I think that you've just, maybe you've discovered this truth about a situation. Looks like we have a couple new discoveries here and one of them is the truth and one of them is passion. So you discover the truth and you discover some passion. So congratulations. Looks really, really good. Looks like home or, or finances um, are surrounding your home. You look very abundant and secure this week. Just completely, you know, stable, secure, happy. Very happy. Looks like a really good week. This right here is, um, this is could be a winning of some sort. The Ace of Pentacles. It can be a gain. So it's a gain so on something on a physical level. So it could be, you know, a raise, um, a gift, uh, could even be a partnership. It's something new on a physical level. And I have to tell you, you have three aces here. Aces are ones. One, one, one. When you see one, one on your microwave or anywhere, it means instant manifestation. Your thoughts become things. So usually when I see one, 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 I kind of like make a wish and I believe it. That's what instant manifestation is. So 111, this week if you see that number, remember it's instant manifestation. Your thoughts become things. So if you're thinking negative at that time, change it quick, 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 quick to something positive because it turns into a wish, okay? I do see um, that you're at the beginning of the week we have the Eight of Swords. Now that's a false imprisonment right up there. So you're, you're feeling like you're stuck into something okay that was false okay so maybe that's where the change happens at the beginning of the week it feels like you're you're feeling stuck in a situation and you want it to get away but not really you're comfortably stuck all right um i think that you're doing some dreaming perhaps you've been envisioning the future regarding love you know and i think you've been i think that you're really working on your future foundation okay I think this, this is a really good week. It, it is. It looks like you're not struggling very much. It looks like um, there's a lot of equality here. 
could be in your home life, could be at work, but it just looks like things are really, really good. I think that you ha are in control. You are moving forward. You are, you could be, you know, if you are looking for a raise or, and you haven't asked for it, this might be the week to do that. If you are, um, you know, wanting to apply for a position that is, you know, a higher ranking, you might want to think about that. This is a very prosperous week where you could be very successful in that. You know, I think that this, this is a good mix between love and money this week. So this is kind of like a love and money reading. I think that there's love in your relationship. Perhaps you're letting, like I said, a grudge go or you're letting some, some kind of fear of the unknown go. You know, and I think that your relationship, if you're in one, there is a resurgence of that. Or if, you know, you could um, begin one, you could have an unexpected um, person pop into your life that you are ready to um, be passionate with because you're letting go of the fear of the unknown. All right? You have a Cancer here. You have a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You have a Virgo again. Um, and that's what I see with the hermit card. I think you've taken a lot of time to think about your future I do I think that you have and I think you're just releasing something that has been holding you back That's what it looks like to me You're releasing something that was heavy and it's bringing you some really good stuff by doing that. It's just changing everything um, I think there's there could be a new for those of you who are single Did I mention there's a cancer here, too? There's a new beginning of love, perhaps, or a mes message of love that somebody is interested in you, um, if you're single. We do have Pisces here, so you're Pisces, Cancer, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini. Yeah, it is. It's a beautiful week. It absolutely is. I love it. Uh, yeah. So like I said, if you're looking for that raise or you're looking for that um, new job or if you're thinking about purchasing something, this might be the week to do it. You have a lot of pentacles here and they're good pentacles about something new on a physical level. I mean, there could be a new home. Um, there's all kinds of newness here where money's coming in. You should be, I don't know where you're going to be getting some money from, but you should be feeling very abundant this week. And with the Ten of Cups as well, with the Ten of Pentacles, very happy. I think there's a lot of happiness here. I don't see any struggle at all. I think it's a wonderful week financially, phys uh, lovingly. I see happiness. I see family. I see contentment. I see togetherness. I see harmony. I see passion. Um, I see good luck, good fortune. I see you're dreaming about the future. You know, you're you're. Uh, there's a lot of growth here. I, I, it's fantastic. It is. It really is. I think that you have really. I think this week is a wonderful, prosperous week. I mean, I, there's no more that I can say about that. I'm gonna go with the angel romance cards and see what we can get for love. You have. I think you have focus. I've, you've done some soul searching and it's coming to fruition. This is really, 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 really good. I mean, this is probably the best one I've had so far. You're not a quit quitter. I can see that. You, things are starting, finally starting to come to into place because of all your hard work. Things are paying off. This is probably what has happened for a lot of you. <laughs> this one too. I'm just going to lay them down then I'm going to talk about it. I saw it and I was going to talk but I can't. I got to keep going. I want to make sure that is zoomed in. There we go. The first card is healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. 
I just want to fix that up a little bit. Your love life benefits as you forgive. Forgive. Your parents, your sisters, your brothers, your aunts, your uncles, your grandparents, your employer, your the people you hate. Your love life benefits as you forgive. Release your ex. See, you're, I told you, you're letting something go. You are. You're just I know you are. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Absolutely. Okay? Give your relationship a chance. It's for this new one that you're in now. It doesn't mean it has to be brand new. You could, have been, you could, you could still be holding on to a, an emotion or an attachment to somebody that you dated 10 years ago, but you've been with somebody else for three. You know what I'm saying? Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. That's why you're doing all this, so that you can. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. All of this, seriously, for love. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. That's what's happening. And your wishes are coming true. I'm serious, because we, I mean, abundance and security and stability and happiness is all right here because of your hard work. And working together as a team. All right. And get in, in believing in somebody to be your best friend. And that's what this is. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So this is probably for couples, this card. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Living in the now. You are letting something go. That's when you switch to living in the now. And that's what it is. Let me give you one of my whispers of love. And I'm going to read it. Because I can't remember these. It's just the way it is. Oh. I'm going to zoom that in. I love you. I love you. These are very important words. Whether you say this to a pet, a friend, your partner, or yourself. These are the most important words you can say. Don't hold these words in like it will take away their importance. Be willing to say, I love you, often and freely. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Talk to you later.